Joining us from our Washington bureau is Elise Foley, politics and immigration reporter for the Huffington Post. Elise, good morning. Good morning. What are we expecting on Tuesday? Do we have any idea yet? Well, there have been a lot of reports last week that the president is planning to end the program, most likely by making it so that these permits run out. So people have the permits for two years. That allows them to work legally, get driver's licenses, live without some level of fear of deportation. And so what is expected is that he will announce that they can no longer re renew those, which is functionally the same in terms of their lives as taking them away. And then we'll start to see people being put back in this position. So Elise, a, a very long few days wait for some people out there. If this is rescinded, what does it mean for them at that time? Well, if it is that he doesn't allow them to renew, they won't necessarily lose their jobs immediately, but you'll start to see people have them expire. And so if you are no longer allowed to work legally, a lot of these people are employed. They'll have to be fired by their employers, um, which includes some major companies. Uh, Microsoft has come out against this because they employ some DACA recipients. So they will lose their employment, but they also will become at risk of deportation. And so even if the Trump administration doesn't try to go deport former DACA recipients, people who come in contact with Immigration and Customs Enforcement do end up getting detained, even if they're not the people being targeted. So I think that if the program ends, you will see some people who are former DACA recipients being detained and being deported. At least we reported in, in our first hour that the president is actually facing uh, pressure from both sides of his own party on this. I mean, there are there are states that are threatening to sue if the program isn't scrapped, but there are uh, GOP leaders like Paul Ryan who are saying that, that it should stay. That's right. So it's something that he promised over and over throughout his campaign, talked about how it was unconstitutional amnesty. And there are a lot of Republicans, most Republicans probably, who feel the same way, who feel that President Obama never should have done this. At the same time, they also are in this difficult political position because deporting dreamers, as these people are called, is not a popular thing to do. Um, polling even shows that ending the program is often not a popular thing to do, even among Republicans. And so they are in this position where perhaps it would be easier for them to have the program simply continue and then they wouldn't have to try to pass anything. And so you have Paul Ryan, you have even one of the attorneys general who threatened Trump with legal action um, saying that uh, perhaps he shouldn't do this and give them a chance to pass some sort of legislation instead. If we did see some kind of legislation, what might that look like under this Congress? So there are a few different options. One of them is the DREAM Act, which is has been around for 16 years. They've never been able to get it through both chambers, um, but it would provide a path to citizenship for uh, many of these people. There's also a new bill uh, called the RAC Act that has been introduced in the House, is going to be introduced in the Senate. That's, they're framing as sort of a conservative version of the DREAM Act. It would also provide a path to citizenship, but for a slightly narrower population. Um, and that would probably have to be coupled with some sort of other measures, uh, border security, um, more money for immigration enforcement, perhaps money for the border wall in order to get that through with Republicans. However, they have not been able to pass things like this before. They have not gotten them through both chambers in the past. So it would be a very, very much an uphill battle. All right, Elise Foley, thank you. Thank you.